Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Wiley Drake, and I'm the chairman and founder of the Congressional Prayer Conference of Washington, D.C. A few days ago, I received a call to action from a dear pastor friend of mine by the name of Dr. Scott Lively. This is his call. This is a call to action to all Christians, believers, pastors, leaders, talk show hosts, media figures, activists, street evangelists, and prayer warriors. Let us band together in the spirit of Second Chronicles 7.14 to promote and conduct a continual prayer vigil and stand out for marriage at Supreme Court of the United States or any federal courthouse. This is a general call, he says, and he says, I am asking every Christian and pro-family radio talk show host to promote this vigil. My dear pastor friend, Scott Lively is saying, I'm on my way to D.C. to kick this off spiritually. Just me and my wife, he says, with a standout from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. on Monday, the ninth day of March. We invite all of you to come and to attend others to join in this very special prayer meeting. Ladies and gentlemen, we have put out a press release, and we encourage you. The Congressional Prayer Conference of Washington, D.C. does officially endorse, and we're going to help promote this vigil for marriage and the Supreme Court of the United States and all the courts. On Monday the 9th, we are going to court. We're going to court in the spirit of Second Chronicles 7.14. I would encourage you to be boots on the ground and prayer in the air. Boots on the ground means you will go and visit SCOTUS, S-C-O-T-U-S, Supreme Court of the United States. And I would encourage you to be boots on the ground with my dear friend Scott Lively at number one, First Street, Northeast, Washington, D.C., zip code 20543. That is boots on the ground, location number one in our nation's capital. Boots number two on the ground location will be here on the West Coast. I, as your Congressional Prayer Conference Director and Leader, will lead in a prayer meeting at the very same hour that Dr. Lively is in Washington, D.C. It will be 8 o'clock a.m. our time, but it will be 11 in our nation's capital. And in the courthouse of the capital and the courthouse of the West Coast, we will be praying, and we would encourage you to join us, either boots on the ground or prayer in the air. Boots on the ground there at 1 First Street, Northeast Washington, D.C., or join us at 411 4th Street, Santa Ana, California, at the Ronald Reagan Federal Courthouse. We will stand up. We will bow down. We will walk. We will do a sidewalk prayer summit, coast to coast, from sea to shining sea. Won't you please join us? You say, well, I can't get to Washington. I can't get to California. Well, you can, and you'll be able to by conference call telephone number. At 11 a.m. Washington, D.C. time, we will open what is called the CCC, Congressional Communications Channel. We will communicate from sea to shining sea, from shore to shore across America. If you cannot be boots on the ground in Washington or boots on the ground here in California, please join us by conference call. Call this conference call number, 712-432-1690. Put in your access code 399-430-POUND, and please put your phone on speakerphone and join us as we pray two hours 
for the decision for the Supreme Court in reference to the possibility of them approving by court edict and by court ruling that they could possibly approve the sin of sodomy as constitutional, i.e. same-sex marriage, i.e. homosexual marriage, and all the other garbage that goes with it. But ladies and gentlemen, let me say to you, sodomy is still sin. Two men, two women laying down together is the same sin that God destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah over. Ladies and gentlemen, we must pray this decision through. We must hold the Supreme Court accountable. And as uh, uh, Dr. Lively has said uh, very clearly uh, in his uh, report, and let me give you that, let us take the authority we have in him, the freedom we have as Americans to join together to surround the federal judges with a hedge of prayer that they will be forced to bow their knee to the one who created marriage and the foundation of all human civilization. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our last stand for marriage as a free society. If the Supreme Court of the United States declares sodomy marriage a constitutional right by judicial fiat, there will be nothing left for us to do but to resist. Pray with us. In D.C., boots on the ground. In Santa Ana, boots on the ground. Our prayer in the air on conference call 712-432-1690. Put in your access code 399-430-POUND. Help us to help God save America.